So guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's going to be a quick one today. It's basically just going to be a tutorial showing you how to remove um, reflections from any car shot. This can work on pretty much any shot you want anyway. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'm going to show you my process. So after I've got the shot edited, got the before and then after, I basically want to take reflections from here and turn it into that. So from that to that, just clean it up a little bit. It wouldn't bother most people, but if you're looking for a way to just make your car look cleaner, this is a good way to do it. From here, you're going to right click, editing, Photoshop. Just make a cup of tea whilst it's open. Watch a bit more house scene. Today would be nice. Oh, <laughs> it's already open. Okay, so I always press command and then zero, and then it like maximizes the screen. So from here on the right side, you're gonna double click, just press OK, then press Command J, it duplicates it, so then this is the, the main one. So that's the main one, we're not really gonna to touch that. This is the one we're gonna edit, edit on, so that's gonna be the edit file, okay. So from here, you can do a couple of light touches, literally just using the heel brush. So over here on the left side, you'll see the spot healing, and the shortcut is J, so if you press J, that normally pops up. If you tap Z, it's going to bring up the zoom in and zoom out. So say for example, I want to target this area. I'm going to keep clicking just there. Okay, so then I'm going to press J. Okay, <clears throat> all I'm going to do is click, hold and drag over this area that I want to pretty much get rid of. And then Photoshop normally does a decent like job of it. If you want to do little bits of cleanup, just kind of tap around the edges, try and smooth in those little bits. Remember this shot's going on Instagram so it doesn't have to be like perfect because you, there's no you're not really gonna zoom in on Instagram and see these minor kind of imperfections I guess. This is just a quick cleanup. So as you can see from that alone that's kind of already got rid of like that big spot. Um, quick shortcut if you tap and hold spacebar it bring up with the hand and then you can click and drag. So you don't have to keep zooming in and out. If you did want to make that a bit per like better, you can again get J, go around the edges. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's not that good. But again, you just click and drag. So the second option, how to remove this, this is a different technique you can use. If you press L or go over, which will bring up the lasso tool, or use a second one down. So the lasso tool is basically, you can kind of do whatever you want with it and it will select that. The second one down is the most pop popular one that I use, but you just click and it, you just click points. So if, say for example on this area, once it's selected, you're gonna press press shift delete. Make sure it's 100% opacity, blending mode, I normally just do normal. It's basically gonna fill this area of content aware. And there you go. It's pretty much done a better job than if you were to do J. The only difference is, it leaves a bit of a edge like that. So you'd have to kind of get the J again, maybe go around the edges and just tweak it a little bit. That's the second technique. With that technique as well, what you can do is you can apply that to a separate layer. So for example, if you don't want that to be on this edit and you want it to be separate completely, you can press edit, content aware fill. A brief, a brief overview of this is gonna be the green areas where it's gonna sample from and then this screen over here is the final result. So say for example, I only want it to sample from there, like in real time it updates, just there. So, no color reduction. Here it says, do you want to apply to the current layer, a duplicate layer, or a new layer? If you want to do it on a separate layer completely, press OK on new layer. And then here, there you go. So it's a pretty good technique, like it's a lot longer, but if you want to kind of be a bit more particular with it, then you can do that. You can just put it to a separate layer. So. What we're going to do for this one, I'm just going to hide that, get rid of it. So for a quick workflow, quick process, is we're just going to use a spot healing brush on the actual layer itself, just because once I've got rid of reflections, I don't, I'm not looking to get them back, so I don't have to do it to a separate layer. We're going to kind of dot around the car and see what the spot healing brush can do. So I'm clicking, um, I'm using the brush at a relatively big size just to cover a good area. Like I said, if it's just going on Instagram, you don't have to be too particular with it. You normally just kind of click around. Photoshop's normally pretty good at getting rid of imperfections. So you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Third technique to get rid of um, reflections is using the clone stamp. So say for example, if we go back a little bit, I want to get rid of these bits again. 
I'm going to press S, which basically on the left side is a clone stamp tool. Um, you've got pattern stamp tool, but I normally just use clone stamp tool. It's normally the one that I can kind of stick with. All the clone stamp does is it duplicates a certain part of the image and stamps it over wherever you're clicking. So say for example, if I make this really big just for a demonstration, if I press and hold option and click over yeah, the wheel, Okay, now I can stamp this wheel wherever I want. But it basically goes around where you've sampled from. So it brings up this little crosshair. No, this is not Call of Duty. <laughs> Bring up the crosshair, you're gonna click. And then if you click and then hold, it basically samples from where the crosshair is around. So like that. So you can completely stamp different areas. Click and part which is what you wanna duplicate. Click and drag hold the click down if you go up too high if you see the crosshair got too high where it's we're edging towards those red dots obviously it's gonna do those red dots so you only need to do one bit at a time for example like watch what that crosshair is doing make sure i'm not going too far right and then every now and again just let go start again and then you carry on going through so this area here is obviously going to be perfect for clearing that out i'm going to click up here and then drag across to about there and then again, as you get a bit faster, you can even make the brush size a bit bigger if you want to. And I'm just going to do bits at a time. With all those, I can even go up here. But you kind of get the idea of what to do. So just that rear uh, right panel, you can see the difference in cleaning up the picture. Yeah, that's pretty much it really. Like you can obviously experiment with it, see what you want to do. You've got three techniques there. Hope that's going to help. And um, when I'm doing this properly, I'll take way longer to do. And then once you've kind of done that as well, once you're happy with your edit, if you press save or command S, wait for it to save at the bottom left. Come on. <laughs> okay, once it's done, go back to Lightroom and that picture you edited is now saved in Lightroom as a separate copy so okay there is there's the picture I originally um, was obviously editing on and then it saved it to a separate file as you can see down here it says PSD and here it's reset all the sliders because it's a Photoshop file because you don't you don't need any more edits doing to it but if you do want to kind of mess about with shadows or <laughs> wow go for that moody tone um if you do want to edit the picture more you can but again you don't want to kind of mess about with it too much because you'll lose more detail in the picture um but yeah so that's the video just a quick one hope you enjoyed it i hope it kind of give you an insight into just remove reflections from a, a picture i do it to quite a lot of my shots and there's other shots where i just don't do it um but yeah I'll have more videos coming out. I think the next one I might do needs to be the nighttime shots because I've been slacking hard and I should be uploading even though I've, I've got more time than I should be uploading and I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and have a workout now because yeah, they're a lot smaller than they used to be. Um, these home workouts ain't cutting it. So also I've re released um, my selfie store. The link will be in the description below for presets, looks, um, there is a free preset um, on there now that you can download. Obviously got other premium presets as well that will be coming out. So I'm bringing out nighttime ones, underexposed ones, daytime car, like I'm coming out with loads. It takes a bit of time to make them. So I do appreciate the people that purchase the premium ones. It does help me out, especially in this time as well. Where I've got loads of bookings and car shoots that I've not been able to do. So yeah, this kind of helps a little bit. So yeah, like, like and subscribe for more. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.